Welcome to this YSL video tutorial. In this lesson we'll teach you a little bit about how to sort the query results in a Microsoft SQL Server query. So in this short session we'll cover a few simple things. First of all, how to add the order by clause to a select statement. We'll teach you how you can sort by more than one field at a time. And finally we'll show you a neat trick for selecting just the top 10 records based on your sort order. So let's get started. When you've written some queries in SQL Server, one of the really useful things you can do is change the order of the results. So here I've written a very basic query that selects three fields from a table of films. Having executed the query already, I can see that the results appear in, in apparently no particular order at all. They've actually appeared in the order that the films were added to the database. So I'd like to change that. There are several more useful ways I can view that data. So to do that, I'm going to add the order by clause to my query. There we go, order by two separate words. In the order by clause, you can list one of two things. You can either list the name of a, of a field or an alias that you've used for that field. So let's say I'd like to see my films listed in alphabetical order of name. Now I select film name from the list. I can optionally add the word ASC to the end of the word film name, but that's not necessary. It will, it will work in ascending order by default anyway. So if I execute this query now, my films come out in alphabetical order. I've just shown you how that you could use the ASC keyword to do exactly the same thing. So if I execute again, I get no change in the results. But more usefully, you can also use DESC to put things in descending order. So if I execute the query now, I see things in reverse order. So that's how you do straightforward sorting for query results. You can also sort the results of a query based on more than one field at a time. So to demonstrate this, I'm first of all going to change the sort order of my query from using film name. I'm going to use duration instead. Now duration isn't a built-in field name, it's an alias that I gave to a field earlier. But that's perfectly acceptable. So if I run this query now, I can see that the longest film appears at the top and they go in descending order of duration. What I'd like to ensure is that any films that have the same duration are sorted alphabetically by name. So if I scroll down, I can find that numbers 18 and 19 have the same duration, 167 minutes, but they're sorted um, reverse alphabetically. So I'd like to ensure that the next time round, my film names are sorted in ascending order. So you simply add extra fields to the order by clause in the same way you add them to the select list. You type in a comma and then type in the next field name or alias that you've used. So if I execute this query now and scroll down again to numbers 18 and 19 and we can find that they've switched around. One last slightly unusual thing about the order by clause is that you can include fields in here that aren't included in the select list. So to demonstrate that I'm going to add the film Oscar wins field to the order by clause and I'd like to sort those in descending order. When I execute this query the order of my films comes out in a particular order. It's not based on uh, title or release date or duration. It's based purely on film Oscar wins, even though that isn't displayed in the results. So just to reassure you that that is actually working, if I add in the film Oscar wins field into the select list and execute the query again, you can see that that actually is what's happening. The highest Oscar wins are at the top of the list and they go in descending order. One other useful thing that I can do with sorted records is to display only so many of them. And I can do that by using the top 10 clause. It's actually a bit of a misleading term. It's not just the top 10 records. I can select the top any number of records. If I say select top five, I'll get five records. Here I'm gonna go for the top 10. Now the results that I get are based purely on the order that the results are sorted by. So if I execute this query now, I'll simply get the top 10 films from the previous order. Slightly misleadingly, it's not a guarantee that there aren't more films with the same number of Oscar wins as the tenth one in the list. So to make sure that you get those as well, you can add in the two keywords with ties. Having done this, if I execute the query again, I'll see that I actually get more results than I, re than I previously had. So I actually get 13 altogether. And that's because there were three extra films which had the same number of Oscar wins as the 10th one in the list. 
the uh, the top 10 option is based purely on the sort order of the records in a table. So if I wanted the opposite of this, if I wanted the, the top 10 least successful films, then what I have to do is not add the word bottom 10, I have to simply change the sort order of my query. If I change this to ascending sort orders, so again remember and then I'm trying to find the top 10 and then execute this query, uh, I get one record in there that, that isn't actually filled in at all, confusingly, and then there are actually 200 records returned where the number of Oscars won is zero. So there you go, that's how you can use the top 10 clause to affect the number of records. If you've enjoyed this training video, you can find many more online training resources at www.wiseowl.co.uk.